G'day mates. I wasn't going to do a video review of the 18 volt Azito paint sprayer, but the other review I watched was half an hour long and they never even put paint in the gun. So here we are. It comes with a battery protection bag, cleaning tool, different size nozzles, paint pot, the spray gun, and a DIN measurement funnel. I've mixed 800ml of water based paint with 200ml of water to get a flow rate of 35 seconds, which is thinner than the minimum 50 seconds recommended in the manual. It's straightforward enough and the kit even comes with this nice bag to protect your battery. The trigger has a light touch to activate the air, but needs some fairly solid pressure to actually get a stream of paint to come out with it. Unfortunately, I made it all of 5 meters before the battery went flat, so it was out with the brush while I waited for my only 4 amp hour battery to charge which is like watching paint dry. There's a pretty big difference in the thickness with the brush getting a lot more paint on than what I was achieving with the spray gun. So, if the nozzle gets clogged because the paint has dried already, it's pretty simple to pull apart and comes with a nice cleaning tool to make the job a bit easier. The kit also comes with three different nozzles, being 1.5, 1.8 and 2.2mm. Assembly is a tad fiddly. You have to hold the fan width paddle in place, then insert the jet and screw the housing back on without any of those parts falling out. The adjustment for your spray width is pretty simple, as is the adjustment between vertical and horizontal spraying with a nice solid between adjustments. But where were we? Now, the real issue here is that the fast charger still takes 75 minutes to charge a 4 amp hour battery. If we compare that to my Makita batteries, a larger 5 amp hour is done in 49 minutes. But unlike the active cooling system on a Makita charger, you need to add another 10 minutes for the battery to cool down enough that it will actually start the charging process. Once we got the gun going, it makes very short work of it and I was able to spray two 100mm wide panels in each pass, making a very quick process once I got the hang of it. Even with the 1.8mm head, it's pretty splotchy though and I don't think I'd be buying one to give the car a respray. Cleaning is really simple, with no tools required for disassembly, and it comes with a brush and needle for getting inside the different components. After getting the hang of it, I was able to paint the entire 22 metre fence on a single charge, which is 16 minutes with a 4 amp hour battery, and going through 5 litres or pots of paint, which take about 3.5 minutes each. So I would say, if you own one battery but have more than 20 metres of fence, I would consider a 240 volt sprayer or getting yourself some extra batteries. If you already have a couple, then you'll be able to cover a fair surface area as I've covered 48 square meters here, but keep in mind that you would need 5 batteries if you wanted the first one to be charged by the time your last one went flat. Thanks for watching mates, short and sweet for this one. Next up I'll be reviewing a cheap 40 volt battery that cost 112 Australian dollars versus the genuine 2.5 and 5 amp hour Makita units, so hit subscribe if you're keen on seeing that. Cheers!